Hi, this is Sandeep. In this video, I want to show how you can uh, control the size of the marker sensitivity in Power BI scatterplot. So let me show you an example. I have a scatterplot that I've created here. On the x-axis is average sales. On the y-axis is average profit. Each of these dots, they, it shows a product category. So for each product category, give me the average sales and average profit. And then the size of this um, marker, this circle is average discount. So the idea is the user should be able to quickly identify which products uh, has average discount and if that has any uh, bearing on the average sales and average profit based on the size of the marker. You can control the size of the marker by going to the visualizations of the formatting pane on the right hand side and then expanding the markers and then right over here you'll see the the size of the marker and you can control this by going down or up now as keep an eye on the size of the marker as i go down or up you will see that the the size of the markers these these go up or down uh, in the same proportion meaning uh, the uh, they they go up or they increase the rate the diameter of this this circle increases or decreases by the same factor this in this example if i hover over uh, these uh, these data points you will see that there is not much actually difference between uh, the, the average discount for each of these categories so for the first point the average discount is 5.17 here this point over here it's 5.07 this is 5.01 this is 4.74 so in in general for all of these product categories the the average discount lies uh, between 4.74 to let's say 5.2 so not a lot of range so which means even if you try to uh, reduce or change the marker size they all will look very similar or same to each other and for the user it will be hard to distinguish uh, to, uh, between all of these product categories visually they can always hover over it but it's hard to figure out exactly uh, which one is higher and lower just based on the size of the marker itself there is no native way in power bi desktop to control this behavior where you want to accentuate the difference between um, all of these uh, circles so it's easier for the user to adjust the the size of the marker or to see uh, what the dis difference looks like now we can control that easily with a with slight with some slight modifications and create a measure so let me show you how i did that in this case, uh, the the average size, uh, the size uh, of the marker is by is controlled by average discount, which is a measure, simple measure, average superstore uh, discount. What we need to do is uh, increase that scale between uh, uh, between individual data points. So going from 0.4 to 0.5 right now, and then 0.5 to 0.6, that delta is 0.1 we need to enlarge that as we go from 0.4 to let's say uh, 0.6 from 0.5 to 0.6 and we can do that by creating a new measure by exponentiating uh, this average discount uh, uh, value uh, if, if we want the user to do this the easy way is i can go to modeling create a new numeric range so i'll go to new parameter and then numeric range and i'll create a new range let's call this new range as uh, marker size and let's say this whole number it starts with zero and the maximum it goes to 100 so we want the, this sensitivity between zero and 100 in the increment of one and let's keep this default as one and then we create that i've already done that so it's exactly the same thing i've I, i've created a parameter called sensitivity which goes from zero to 100 in the increments of uh, one next what i did was i created another uh, measure called marker size 
And in the marker size, I take the the average discount. So I passed it to a variable, new variable call underscore discount. I grab the sensitivity value, which the user will define between zero to 100, and then just exponentiate the discount by the sensitivity. So meaning if my discount is uh, up 4.07%, then 4.07% raised to whatever the sensitivity value is. So let's say 50. So the number instead of uh, instead of 4.07, it will be 4.07 raised to 50. And what that will do is because we are raising it to a, a, a very large number, um, that scale will get elongated and then we will be able to uh, control, use that as a way to control the sensitivity of the marker size. Let me show you how that works then. I created that. So in this case, this is the marker size. I dropped it into the size. This will automatically be created once you create the, the per this parameter slicer, when you create the parameter. And now zero, if we start with zero, uh, let's say the discount value again is 4.07 raised to zero, so which will be one, meaning there won't be any difference. This is like you're not applying any, uh, you're not controlling the size of the marker, so it will be one. If I go to one instead, this will be similar to controlling uh, using the default value. And then as I start ramping this up, as I start increasing this, you will see now that the, the marker size is changing and it is changing it is not changing in the same proportion which is what we saw when we controlled it with the default value now we are able to see the difference uh, quite clearly that this is the largest 5.17 um, and then this one is slightly less than that 5.07 this seems to be the smallest 4.74 I can visually see maybe this value and this value there they should be quite close to each other yeah 5.08 and this is 5.07 so this way we can um, easily give the user the ability to change that marker size now why do we want to give the user to uh, the ability to change that or adjust that value because you may have some uh, slicers and filters applied uh, in that case, in this uh, case, for example, maybe I'm, I'm using all the cities. If I were to pick uh, another city, the scale would be quite different. Um, so in that case, the user may want to change that uh, based on um, how they, uh, based on their choice, how they want to see uh, these markers. So to take it one step further, uh, what I did was I just add, I created uh, bookmarks and then I added this gear icon so you can click on it and the user will get the sensitivity they control the sensitivity how they want it right and then they you can they can ex uh, click out of this to uh, go back so this way you give the user the ability um, to change the slicer uh, change the the marker size um, and at the same time keep uh, everything in there one last thing here to note is if I hover over it, I added um, a, a tooltip to it because if when you add the sensitivity value uh, to this, so in this case, if I add the discount, let me get rid of, um, let me go here and then just add one right here. So I'll go ahead and then create the, the marker size and add that to the marker size and add that to the average discount here. If you hover over it, you will see that the marker size, it shows 0, 0.0. Um, so if the user uh, hovers over it, they'll see the marker size. We don't want them to see the marker size, hence adding the tooltip, you can just show the average discount and the relevant uh, numbers about that data point instead of showing the marker size itself. So hopefully this helps you um, and gives you an idea how you can control the marker size. Thank you for watching.